Everybody, this is uh, Teresa here, coming from the Small ta Terra. Small, can't even say the name of my freaking channel. Small Terra channel, hey, we're not a thing. Ah. <laughs> oh, oh man, so much has happened. Has anything changed in the farms? No, but we do have this wiggly little monster here who uh, has a quest for us. So let's talk to him. Wiggly! We Wigglies have been custodians of the soil here from Field Field since forever. It's always been our job to keep the dirt in good nick. And now, as a Chono Harganer off my case, I can get started again. Can't wait to see the old place overflowing with life, green from beach to bluff. I suppose I should start by turning some of this. Over his slime into some nice clean earth, shouldn't I? Oh yes, please, Wriggly. You've no idea how long I've waited for this. Eight episodes. <coughs> I'm so excited to see you. <laughs> eight episodes. It's been like three since I've came here. I don't know. I'm so excited to see you sanitize the soil. Right. Oh, but how am I supposed to know which bits you want cleaned up? All of it. I see. You're using him. Scarecrows to mark out where he wants the fields to be. So I should work my magic on the mud around the moments, huh? Sounds like a plan. I'll get started right away. No time little pleasant, is there? Let's go. Let's see this. I want to see it happen. Let's do this. Yeah, there it is. Oh! I would prefer, you know, you do the whole place. Oh yeah, which, uh, wh wh where do you want clean soil? Everywhere. Literally everywhere, please. But, whatever. Ah, great. There you go, Terra. I think it's sludge is all gone. Nothing but fine fertile earth for your fields from now on. on. <laughs> what was that? <laughs> I can't believe it! Look at all this healthy earth! <laughs> Thank you, Wiggly. I'm so happy. <laughs> I've never seen so much lovely soft soil in my life. <laughs> Ever since the Spoils Boys appeared, I thought our island was doomed. <laughs> Even when we found clean soil, Anything we planted in it would just withered and died. What's wrong with you lot? Crying over a bit of dirt. We spent so long scraping together a few, sm few small patches of arable earth. Now we got more and we know what to do with. I'm as happy as I can and how I've ever been. <laughs> I'm happy too. Happy to help, that is. I'd be more than happy to clean up the soil anywhere Terra plants down one of them scarecrows. <laughs> Wonderful work, Terra. It just so happens I have a few seeds squirreled away for just an auspicious occasion. And now we have a place to plant them. Thanks. Oh, those were in your beard too? You're just hoarding wheat seeds in your beard now? Huh? Is that it? Alright, well, Wrigley's gonna get to work on that field. Let's talk to Rosie in the meantime. We've got so much more clean soil now, Tara. The field even smells better. Rich and earthy. Not all rotten like before. I thought between you, a builder, and me, the finest farmer on Furlfield, we had the perfect duo. But now with Wrigley in the mix, we've got the perfect trio. Now we can make as many fields as we want. That won't help us if we don't have the seeds to plant in them. Brittany told me about the ruins of an old farm somewhere to the northwest, on the other side of the mountains. Sounds like just the place to find some more seeds, right? 
I'll mark it on your map for you. So go and see what you can find. New destination. Northwest of here. Alright. Well, um... Oh, gee, now I don't know. Do I want... Do I want cabbages here, or do I want wheat here? Because then I'd have to move the wheat. Uh, you know what? I will deal with, like, the planting and the, uh... <laughs> yeah, fixing up this place, too. Awesome. I'll deal with the planting and arrangement of crops a little off the, the candy, the candy cam cams. And, uh, let's, um, let's go find some more seeds. That sounds way cooler. Let's go, Malroth, with your axe and my sword. We've got this. Oh, yes. Ooh, some icons are popping up. Oh, I like this. And there's a little cute rat over here. Let's go talk to him. I have a little squeak over this here. Squeak! Hi there, human! Are you looking for your friend? He's just over on the other side of this hill. He seems to have gone a little crazy. I have to check. He's swinging his hoe around like a madman. If he's not your friend, you might want to steer clear. You can always just go and have a look, but don't blame me if he clocks you on the noggin. The piece farming here. Uh, there's a person over there? I see. Um. Hmm. Let's, uh, let's go the safe way down first. Because, you know, fall damage is a thing. Oh, but it's almost night! Ah! Oh, no. The monsties will come and get us. Um, there's a good old fire here. Ooh, and the chest. Can I open it? Yeah! Nice! There's a bed here. Oh, we can sleep. Okay, let's let's take a little break. Uh, Malroth, you keep watch. And that was great. Oh, oh, we were supposed to switch off. Oh well. Hey, little fat rat here. Oh, that's a cool work table. Uh, what's up? Hello there, human. I'm as hungry as a church mouse. Seriously, I'm starving, squeak. All I have here are these wheat seeds, but I get really bloated when I eat wheat. I think I have an intolerance. Do you think you could help me out? If you could give me ten cabbages, that would keep me fed for a while. You can have these wheat seeds in return. Oh, shoot. Oh, I don't have my cabbages. Alright, I'll be back. Let's, uh, let's talk to the other rat, because I'm curious. What's up? Squeak! Hi there, human! A high-minded, high-brow, high-class girl like you should have no problem at all with heights, right? Then I know a couple of tricks that are perfect for someone like you. Skills for swiftly scurrying to the loftiest spots. Squeak! Any adventurer worth his cheese! Knows how to climb. After all, you never know what you might find at the top of a mysterious hill. If you have a wall handy, see the cheddar trash. <laughs> if you have a wall handy, you have put blocks against it to make a staircase. And if not, you can build a tower by jumping straight up and putting a block under you before you land. Mastery of these techniques is key to quick climbing. Give it a shot right now. There's a treasure chest up above me. It's yours for the taking. If you can reach it. Uh, do I have slime blocks? I do. Alright, well. I don't know how many I need. Because I cannot count. Um, so we'll just, uh, just take a full stack. And, uh, here. I did it! Are you proud of me? Proud of me, rat? Ooh, hoo hoo hoo, a seed of life! Ooh, it's got a star on it! What does it do? Let's use it! Nice! Max health increase by five! 
Um, let's uh, preserve this health <laughs> and get down there. I did it! Squeak, squeak! Very well done, human. Who would have imagined a seed of life would be hidden away up in the, those old ruined rafters? Did you have much trouble getting up there? You're still finding it tricky. Just keep practicing. You'll master it eventually. You look like something of an adventurer to me, human. Hopefully these climbing skills will aid you in your travels. That sea of life should be quite helpful too. It has the odd effect of making you just a little bit tougher if you eat it. You'll find incredible items like that in all sorts of unexpected places. So don't be afraid to go exploring. You never know what you might stumble upon. They say the rarest and most valuable items are always hidden in the hardest to reach places. I'll keep a keen eye out on your travels. Complete! Thanks! Oh, whoops, sorry. Didn't, didn't need to talk to you again, though. But I appreciate it. I appreciate your kind words. And it seems like there's nothing else back there. I'm kinda bummed out it didn't bring me cabbages with me. Bring me cabbages. Ooh, there's a little bag there. I smash it while I get wheat? No, I got a bag of holding. Thanks, I guess. Decorative bag. Decorative bag. Alright, you. Why are you... That's not working, is it? <sighs> what is this fiendish farmyard still doing here? Don't worry. I'll have the whole blasted thing torn apart in no time. Hmm? I don't know who you are. If you're not going to help, then I'd rather you leave me alone and let me destroy this place in peace. Listen, we're just here to figure out what are you doing. I beg your pardon? You heard there was an old farm around here and you were hoping to find some seeds? Well, I expect this is the farm you're looking for. Don't worry, I'll soon have it completely obliterated. As for those seeds, I have some, but I won't give them to you. There's no nobler a goal in life than wrecking ruin, you know? I'm sure the Master of Destruction himself is watching me right now as I smash this place to smithereens. All I can say is, it's a small mercy this place doesn't have one of those accursed scarecrows. Those infernal puppets have some kind of dark power over me. It's one glance at one and I can't resist telling the soil around it and found my farmer's blood. Whatever you do, stranger, don't use that wooden workbench to build a scarecrow and then place it in the middle of this field. Don't even think about it. Never considered it. <laughs> whoa, whoa, what, 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 what is this? Oh no, ah, I feel compelled to just put the scarecrow right here! Actually, let me face it the other way so that it's kind of like creeping them out a little bit. Ah! How did I get there? I don't know! Oh no! Did you really put a scarecrow in the middle of the field? Right after I specifically told you not to! What? What is happening to me? <laughs> I'm so sorry. <laughs> I didn't know you'd be so angry about it. <sighs> it's just as I feared. One glance at a scarecrow and I can't stop myself from tilling the earth around it. Oh, messer destruction. Hear my prayer. I've sullied my hands with the stain of creation. I beg your forgiveness. Ugh. <laughs> It is only by your destructive grace that the field was not enclosed by wooden fencing. Were it so fenced in, I fear that I... I... You didn't happen to spot the pieces of wooden fencing stuck in the ground behind this field, did you? If you do, don't go and fetch that wooden fencing over there. 
Fill in the gaps in the fence around this field. Do you hear me? No fences. Yeah. <laughs> no fences. That would just be rude of me. Like, wouldn't dream about it. At all. That's crazy talk. Let's just, uh... Whoops. That way. Yeah, let's, uh... Yeah, I... What? I can't... I can't control myself, man. It's just... I feel so compelled to just, uh... Fill in those gaps. <gasps> Eureka! I learned a new recipe! A wooden gate? No frills. Fencing that swings on hinges. Can be open and closed. And some wooden fencing. Now I can make some more. Versus uh, only relying on like the five spread around. Nice. Oh my gosh. You, an enormous field. Like what happened over there? You. You put a fence around the field, didn't you? Why would you do that? No. Why? It's happening again. Why? Why? <laughs> Why is this game so expressive? <sighs> I couldn't help myself. I plowed every inch of earth inside that accursed fence. You sly devil. I expect you've worked out how to build wooden fencing and wooden gates yourself, too. With gates and fencing, you can make fields of almost any shape or size. They're dangerous weapons indeed. Oh, master of destruction, hear my prayer. Once again, I have supped my brow with the sweat of constructive labor. I beg your forgiveness. <laughs> Hearts. Ah. What's that? If I want to till some more fields, why don't I go and help out on your farm? What are you trying to imply? I'll have you know, I'm a devoted disciple of the children of Hargan. <laughs> this guy is hilarious. Let's take him back to the farm and turn him into a builder. <laughs> Alright, weirdo. If you got any seeds, hand them over. No funny, no funny business. We can do this easy way, but fun way. <laughs> alright, alright. There you go. They're all yours. Ugh. Brilliant. Looks like we've got enough seeds to make coming all the way out here worthwhile. Now, let's go get Tommy Tills a lot here. Back to the farm. Name's Clayton. I'll go with you. I'll help on your farm. Do anything you want. Just please don't kill me. <laughs> We're just threatening people into helping us. <laughs> Someone help me! Uh, well, well, well. <laughs> I'll come back and give the cabbages, and I'm sure it's something simple like, uh, oh, here's a, here's your good old reward of seeds. If it's anything special, I'll tell you about it. Otherwise, you know, it's probably nothing. Uh, I could do the fast travel, but I don't know. I kind of prefer bringing the, the uh, the willing, <laughs> the willing, uh, what should I call him? Laborer? Yeah. <laughs> I feel like bringing him in, uh, but on foot is, is a little friendlier than just being like, and pop into existence. So, here we go. Let's get on back over to the farm. Mission complete! Make the field bigger! We just got back. Nice. Yippee! Rosie! Rosie, I'm down here, Rosie! <laughs> what happened up there? We did it, Tara! We did it! 50 blocks of soft, unsoiled, unsullied soil. Turned and tilled and plowed to perfection. Now we've got enough space for all five types of vegetable that they used to grow in Furrowfield. Five, you say. Five. Hmm. Okay. Before the day tree withered and died, they used to grow all sorts of different crops here. Hold a festival when they brought in the harvest. Goodness, Tara. 
Look, the day tree. I can't see that. <laughs> I literally cannot see that. But sure. Oh, it's got another little bundle. Nice. It's adorable. The day tree's grown a little bigger. And it feels a lot more powerful, too. Doing these tasks is really doing the trick, isn't it, Tara? Hmm, <laughs> Standing before something so precious, I can barely contain the urge to destroy it utterly. Oh, the pastor is acting all funny again. Is he really going to blow it up this time? Now, hang on. When you first saw the tree, you said you'd had a change of heart. What was that all about? Silence! I will not stand by and listen to your idle chatter when you have so much more still to do. Stop wasting time and get back to work. <laughs> Must resist urge to destroy. I get it, I get it. Uh... Rosie? Nope. Rosie. Oh, I gotta do the cabbage thing now. Or maybe I have to welcome him. That was it. Why do you gotta be down there? Unbelievable! Look at this farm! These buildings! These fields! This tree! <laughs> Truly such sinners are beyond redemption. Such shameless construction! Such brazen building! This whole town stinks of creation! You're heretics! The lot of you! Heretics and builders all! <gasps> Reverend! This woman is a builder! A foul, irredeemable sinner! Do something! Destroy her! <laughs> you could not have arrived at a better time, my disciple. You must work the fields here. You must till the soil and water the crops, with neither rest nor respite. <laughs> not you too! Why, Reverend? Why? <laughs> Very well. I will join you in your den of iniquity. I think that's how it's pronounced. I can't disobey the pastor's orders. <laughs> Clayton reluctantly joins Tara's team. <laughs> Sorry, man. You're involved. <laughs> Amazing! I know! We just indoctrinated another one! Isn't that great? Yeah. Great work, Tara! You didn't just find new seeds! Found a new friend, too! Claims just like me, a descendant of one of the Furrowfield's finest farming families. That must be why you can't help but plow any field he sees. I've been thinking, Tara. We've been doing as Pastor said, and now we've got nice big fields, and the day tree's growing bigger, too. But surely those three tasks he gave us can't be all there is to it, can they? It just seems too easy. I suppose we'll have to wait and see. In the meantime, let's build more scarecrows, till more fields, and grow more crops. You could even try making fields into interesting shapes and sizes by fencing them off with wooden fencing and wooden gates. Try it out and see how it goes. Complete. Nice. Uh, Bonanza has another thing for us. Gotta eat some food first. Alright, but for real. Uh, <laughs> this was fun. This was a fun episode. We, uh, you know, found a new friend. His name is Clayton. He's kind of like... Uh, how should I put it? Yeah. That kind of sums it up, right? <laughs> Alright, seriously though. Uh, go in first person and look around. Not just kidding. Uh, seriously, seriously, seriously. Thank you so much for watching and tuning in to me playing Dragon Quest Builders 2. I will see you all next time. Bye-bye. <laughs>